New information tonight. People are working to prevent kids from getting heat stroke. This comes after a toddler died in Huntsville. The Madison County Deputy Coroner says the girl was left inside of a hot car. Advocates in the Tennessee Valley say it's an issue people need to know more about. We have to have awareness. I think um, my heart goes out to any parent that loses a child. Way 31 Sierra Phillips was in Huntsville and Decatur today to find out what you can do to help keep your kids safe. I'm here in Huntsville where today I talked to some people who noticed a problem just like some tech companies did. Cars, apps, and other tech are all starting to launch new notifications to remind parents to look in the back seat. And Tennessee Valley advocates here are taking it into their own hands to protect the next child. Eight years ago, it's been, I had a traumatic experience where I left my then four month old in a sweltering hot car. It was 97 degrees in the middle of the summer. I was rushing to work. Shonda Crutcher is a pastor, mom, and career woman here in Huntsville. She told me her child was okay, but the experience was a wake-up call. What that opened me up to was a world that I didn't have any idea existed. I did not know the number of kids that are left in hot cars every year. According to kidsandcars.org, so far 36 kids have died from heat stroke in cars this year. Crutcher is taking it upon herself to keep that number from growing. Look around you, look at the cars that are in the parking lot next to you, and be advocate for that child that may need an advocate. That's exactly what the Kids and Pets Protection Agency in Decatur is doing. The police can't be everywhere, so why not get some volunteers together? Snyder started the group in 1998. Right now, they have around 36 volunteers. Just spend another minute or so riding through the parking lot looking for these kind of things, then go home, you know. That's all there is to it. And on the other side of tragedy, I hope that people can find it in their hearts to have um, grace. Not grace without accountability. Crutcher told me this kind of thing can happen to any busy parent and encourages the community to come together to make a change. In the name of that two-year-old baby that's not with us anymore, we have to be prayerful. We have to be diligent. If you want to get involved with the Kids and Pets Protection Agency, you can find the phone number to call on our website. In Huntsville, Sierra Phillips, Way 31 News.